Hey everyone, Saturday update, a uh, huge day in the NFL, NBA again, college basketball, and the prop market. Um, we're going to be talking about a player prop in the early game. We're going to be talking about the total in the Kansas City Chiefs and Miami Dolphins game, and uh, a teaser, a totals teaser in the, in the NFL. Uh, very briefly, I want to thank everybody for coming over to the website and jumping on that seven-unit NBA top pick that we had. We hit our fifth one in a row. It was on the Utah Jazz, and it won by 28.5 points over the spread. Our last three NBA top picks have cashed at 53.5 points over the spread, and we have a six-unit NBA play today, another situational analysis play, which we've been nailing on a very low-volume basis that has us 66% on the year in the NBA. Also, we have an eight-unit uh, playoff game of the year in the Dolphins and Chiefs game tonight on the side play on a two-pack. And then we have two plays tomorrow. Let's get to uh, your free plays. We'll tell you about a huge day in college basketball upcoming off a nice 3-0 and sweep last night. I just talked to Mrs. George, who was at the airport in Kansas City flying back so she can get here in time for us to go down to Circa and watch the game because we don't have Peacock. And my local watering hole does not have Peacock, which pisses me off. Um, I'm not going to get Peacock. I've got enough streaming services. But nonetheless, uh, this game is loosely on Peacock tonight. We'll talk about it. Uh, first, let's talk about the Cleveland and Houston game. Uh, player prop, Devin Singletary, under 82 and a half yards, rushing and receiving yards. That's a lean. In 17 games this year, the Cleveland Browns have allowed that to occur to any running back only five times. I think that they're going to come out. The Browns' defense is an enigma wrapped in a riddle. They're number one in the NFL, but the vast majority of those stats, those defensive matrices that put them in that category, they're at home. On the road, they're a different animal. But I've always said this about the NFL playoffs, the cre or the NBA finals, or the national championship games in, you know, college uh, sports, whether it be football or basketball and the March Madness, the cream rises to the top when it counts. Uh, a large part of Cleveland's success has been their defense this year. Well, I know Flacco's come in and been phenomenal. You know, they're here with four different quarterbacks. You don't get to the point where Cleveland is at in the postseason out of that division, which is very tough division, even without Joe Burrow um, and Kenny Pickett for Pittsburgh, who's not that good anyway. You don't get to this point in the postseason using four different quarterbacks unless your defense is damn good. They're number one. And I know they're allowing 4.7 yards per carry on the road. Maybe Houston comes out with that model to try and attack that weakness. I think Cleveland will be ready for it. I think yards will be hard to come by for him. They're going to have to utilize Stroud through the air. So that's the prop bet. Uh, the Kansas City and Miami game, Mrs. George just called me from the airport. It is zero and snowing. She didn't even know if her plane's going to get out. Um, 30 degrees below zero wind chill at, at kickoff. 43 and a half points. If anybody thinks that Patrick Mahomes and Tua are going to have a duel at battling quarterbacks chucking the rock all over the place. You're out of your mind. They are warning people on the local radio and television there that if your face isn't covered, you're going to get frostbite. Okay? That's what we're dealing with here. You know, I know they got blast heaters on the sideline and heated seats and this and that. You get out on that field, it's going to be a frozen tundra. Fourth coldest game in the history of the NFL on tap right now. Give me the under. If I was you, because this is what I did, I also took that total and teased it up to 49 and a half, along with Buffalo and Pittsburgh's total tomorrow 
at 33 and a half, but tease it up to 39 and a half and took the under there. They're expecting horrific conditions. Now, it's not going to be as cold as Kansas City. It's going to be cold, but it's going to be snowing. Did anybody watch the Patriots and Jets game last week? How difficult it is to, I don't care how good, I know Josh Allen went to school at Laramie, Wyoming. Got big hands, used to playing in the well, altitude there, 6,200 feet, but freezing cold later in the year. But those conditions are not conducive to chucking the rock all over the field again. And what's Pittsburgh going to do anyway? You know, they're going to run Harris and the other running back and try and keep them off the field and eat clock. They've been successful at doing it. That's why they're here. It's not because they have outstanding quarterback play. They haven't all year. You know, the Steelers have been an enigma wrapped in a riddle all year long, outgained in about 75% of their games, and yet they're in the playoffs, you know, on a third-string quarterback. That's what I would do. So those are your free picks. Over at the website, free 60 bucks, link in the description below, or the tab on the upper left-hand corner of the website that says free 60, open up new account. We'll park 60 bucks in there. Use it. We have a six-unit NBA top play today. Another situational analysis play. 5-0 and oh our last five top plays. 18-6 run. 66% on the year. Coming off a seven-unit play, we're going back-to-back. Back. We're making money. Let's make some hay. As I mentioned, the NFL. We have a play of both games today, both side plays. The night game is an eight-unit play. We have two-pack tomorrow, which is a total, and then a teaser on the Sunday ticket, then we have a four-unit position on the Monday night playoff game. In college basketball, off a 3-0 and sweep last night, plus $1,100 to the good, won the night before, the biggest card of the year, a five-pack, 16-unit card. Every single one of them is a small conference game, and we've been cherry-picking these small conference games all year. Hit a little bit of a slide here about, you know, it coming into this week, but have turned it around. We have a five-pack today, 16-unit card. We also have a three-pack of NFL player props today. We're passing in the NHL. And somebody asked me the other day about the PGA. These tournaments are going on out in Hawaii. There was one last week. Uh, I may have a Sunday pick to open up the 2024 PGA season. But it's coming. But right now, it's a little iffy on some of the results and the way guys are playing right out of the gate. And it's been a little bit uh, wishy-washy in terms of, re I mean, I've been handicapping them and circling them and say this guy ought to beat this guy in a head-to-head. -head, but, you know, and I'm hitting about 50-50 on them. You know, I need a few more stats and a little bit more momentum type stuff before I start putting out. We had a winning season in 2023, as you all know. And uh, we're just taking our time. we got plenty of PGA in front of us. FYI, Doc Sports, place to be. Get over there. Thumbs up, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at TGeorgeSports. Let's have a huge Saturday.